guys, I'm going fishing for the first time on my Goat Island skiff. Forager has never been out fishing. I have plenty of fishing rods, but they are too big for the boat, so I had to go out and buy one of these all-in-one kits. They're not too good. That's like 24 euros. That's about 30 bucks for the whole lot. I don't need any of the reels or anything, but that's how they come, so I'll have a go with that. I'm gonna sail up north to the deep canal where the big boats go by and where that canal joins the canal that comes south I'm gonna drop anchor there and um, try to have a go um, We had a big storm yesterday, Storm Alex about 35 knots of wind um, but today there's hardly any wind they were still forecasting 18 knot gusts and 9 to 10 knot wind but at the moment nothing. I hope it doesn't go to the 18, but 5 or 6 would be nice. First I have to get there. That's better. That will actually be perfect. It stayed like this. Okay, the wind has picked up a bit. I can see a lot more wind through uh, ahead. Let's see if I can still get some fishing done before the big gusts go. It's actually a really nice day to be here safe now. Not much chop at the moment because the wind and the tide are coming in the same direction. And the wind is quite nice now. I drop sail, uh, the tide and the wind just take me like 10 knots. <laughs> so I have to go a bit further up before I drop sail. is picking up and I don't think that small anchor it's enough to hold the boat in place I think I'm slowly drifting I have uh, 30 yards of rope out this is only like five meters deep should be more than enough but hey better start there Pound line, 0.35 mil in metric. The weather is really turning to crap. Okay, guys, I'm using a one, oh, one up, one down. Nothing much, just two swivels, and then we'll take the hooks. That's it. One hangs below the weight, the other one above the weight. If I can cast before I actually hit shore. <laughs> I'm gonna use number one hooks. I'm not using I'm not using anything from this box because it's all very small. 30 gram that's just over an, of an ounce weight. I mean I need three ounces here. Nearly three hours. Right, guys. This is some kind of ragworm, red sea worm. I don't know how you call it. I think ragworm, probably. And this here, these worms come in these cocoons, and then you have to squeeze them out. 
when they're alive and how much they're a pain to take out. Uh, so, I don't know what you call them, it's the cocoon one. <laughs> well, at least it's easier to put on the hook, it's not wriggling. I don't think the fish will like that too much. But... This one is still alive, just. One up, one down. I'm actually off the, the deep now, but let's just have a cast on. a baby jewfish or rock bass. I don't know how you guys call it. Can you tell me on the comments below what the name of that fish? If the small ones are here, mom and dad must be there somewhere. Okay, that was on the top hook with the cocoon worm. Guys, I don't know what to call it. You guys tell me. Some people say you shouldn't use the same bait after taking it from a fish mouth, but the other day I caught a fish, not much bigger than that. Unfortunately, he swallowed the hook. When I pulled it out, the hole, the guts, everything came with the hook. I opened it, there was this cocoon worm inside, a couple of them, and a cocktail. And I said to Bruno, we were fishing aboard Princesa, I said to Bruno, I'm gonna catch a fish with this bait. So I used the half digested bait from that fish's guts to bait the hook, cast it, and in like five minutes, I had a nice sea bass like that. Well, if you don't believe me, tell me in the comments below and I'll show you the next time. too much. That small anchor sucks. It's a shame I don't have a small lure. Uh, I can't hold bottom there so I could try and drop it at the back and just let me drag the boat all the way there and I'll slowly go and fish all this area I guess better than giving up. So let's try it.
time is a small sea bus. This one I know the name. Right, guys as far as fishing goes not the best day at all <laughs> but at least I caught a couple of fish it's better than blanking this week has been really windy uh, a lot worse than today because of um, storm Alex only today we got a break tomorrow is gonna be um, again uh, 20 odd knots so not really good for fishing either um, anyway I at least I tried it I found out that, that three pound no three pounds three pounds I found out that Anchor not enough. Some of the bottom there is mud, other parts are sand. This didn't work on either, so um, I don't understand why the boat didn't hold with a bow to wind. Uh, I tried lifting the dagger board, taking the rudder out, combination of neither of both. Um, it still wanted to stay sideways to the wind. Go figure, I don't know why. I wish I had a carbon mast. Because I could, I could feel the, the way of the mast when the boat was healing with the big waves. I bet if I had a carbon mast, that wouldn't be as bad as it was. 
next week the weather will be a lot better i will probably give it a go again anyway guys it was fun stay safe and i'll see you next week